Oh, Shirazard! You arrived a lot sooner than I expected. I appreciate you coming all the way from Roland. It's been a while, hasn't it, Lugran? Did someone tell you that we were coming ahead of time? Yes, I received a call from Ina not that long ago. So that means these two kids with you are Cassius's children. That's right. Um, it's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Estelle Bright. And I'm Joshua. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm the Grand, and I oversee the Posse branch. Your father and I go a ways back. Please just call me the Grand. Will do. That said, uh, can you give us a quick update on the missing airliner incident? Yes, about that. The Royal Army is still continuing its search. However, with the Army's current restriction on information, no public updates of the situation have been made. And not only has the general public been kept in the dark, but the Guild hasn't heard a word either. That is a very good question. I mean, clearly they're, they're su trying to suppress some information, but that information they are trying to suppress may be that they have not. Well, that's the way it is on the surface anyway. But in actuality, there's a lot of opposition between both parties on a number of aspects. Uh, sounds like it, yeah. I hate to admit it, but that is pretty much the situation. In addition, General Morgan has gotten involved. Oh? Who indeed? He's famous for repelling the Imperial Army, Army's invasion ten years ago. You should have read about him in the history books. Hmm, amazingly enough, I don't recall the name. So what's the big deal with this famous guy anyway? From what I've heard, he's not the biggest fan of the Bracer Guild. He hates Bracers, in fact. It seems he even makes a point to routinely assert that there's no need for a Bracer's Guild. Sounds... well... I don't know about that, but certainly sounds like a bit of an asshole. Um... That's not really important at the moment. What really matters is that Bracers are being prohibited from entering the regions they are investigating. And because of that, it's causing conflicts with our other work. Hmm. <laughs> Duel it out with a general? I think that is maybe not the best plan there, Estelle. Keep your cool, Bracer. There are other ways. Such as the request we just received from the mayor concerning the incident. She has asked that we conduct an investigation for, uh, from the guild side, separate from the army. Uh, indeed it is. If it's an official request from the mayor, it'd be a great pretext for us to conduct our own investigation. Indeed. That sounds fine by me. Before you go, you two are junior bait bracers, right? Junior Bracers, so to speak, are members in training registered at various branches. Okay, yeah. Seems reasonable. Okay. I see. All you need to do is sign this form to transfer your registration. <laughs> Alrighty, looks like everything's all in order. Junior Bracers, Estelle and Joshua. As of this day at 1520, your registration at the Bose branch has been approved. This means you are now members of the Br Bose branch. 
interesting. Good to know. But on the flip side, your duties and responsibilities increase as well. <laughs> Pretty much. But you're talented newbies, Estelle. Okay then. I suppose we will do just that. Eventually. Uh, Elder Resen, first monster along the trail behind the Revenue Village. Ingredient Seeker, Wen. Uh, I'm gonna find right now, as I seem to be lacking a certain cooking ingredient I regularly use for practice. Ten poultry to Gwen in the restaurant. Uh, first this monster, known as a King Scorpion, has been spotted roving the East Bose Highway. Okay then. Well, uh, I don't know that I have enough of those chickens, but... Actually, what was it? Uh, oh, that's cool. Tender poultry. I, I have actually I have exactly five. Well, okay then. Let's just hand that one in straight away. Yes, can I help you? Hello! We're here with the Bracer Guild, and we have a delivery. Oh, thank you so much for going through all the trouble. I'm sure you must have been busy with your other work. It really wasn't. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go with that. It is just as Estelle said. And now, with the airliners at a standstill, it's a difficult time for us all. I really appreciate you saying that. But the little bit of mirror I'm hitting just doesn't seem like enough. Oh, I know! Please let me do this for you, too. I'll teach you how to make my specialty omelets. Yes! <laughs> Don't worry, it's not a problem. Even if you make a dish just like the recipe says, it doesn't mean that you'll get the same taste. I mean, there's a matter of the ingredients, how, like, what ingredients you use, how they're prepared, like, I I'd believe it. Remember, it's not about whether you're good or bad. It's like the relationship between a musician and her sheet of music. Depending on the person, the song will sound different, even though the music is exactly the same. Hmm. A recipe in the end is nothing more than a framework to make something delicious. By only following the rules, you'd be surprised at how many different ways the end flavor turns out. Cool. Oh? Is Joshua, like, worried about Estelle cooking, maybe? <laughs> oh, it's totally is. I mean, you're not the worst cook ever. A pinch of salt does not mean that you should drop a fistful in there. That's fair. Surprisingly, that's probably the best framework for any recipe. <laughs> and thanks for the new recipe. My pleasure. Come and enjoy a bite to eat here every once in a while, too. Uh... Hmm. 
fresh eggs, mill flour, marble steak. Sit down, he has HP for all. Cool! 500 HP. Let's see... You know, I'm just gonna go, like, turn that in right away. I may as well get paid for it, you know? Oh yeah! That one, too. Plus 5 VP and... some money. Good work. Looks like you managed to achieve your objective. Come back again if you have anything else to report. Okay, now that I've done that, I think I'm gonna go talk to the mayor, then I'm gonna go run eastward to that village. Uh, I'm do I figure the mayor will probably send me in that direction anyway, and if not, then whatever. I'm still gonna go over there first. It's big. Come to think of it, I bet that chandelier is an ornament. It looks like this is the mayor's place, all right. Now I just wonder if she's home. Well, that's not the mayor. Oh, do we have visitors? Welcome to the Bose Mayor's residence. May I ask who you are, please? We are with the Bracers Guild. The Mayor made a request to the Guild, and we've come here to inquire about the details. Hmm. However, I'm sorry to inform you that the Mayor is currently out at the moment. She has gone to worship at the chapel. Uh, when indeed? Well, let me see. Actually, I would imagine her to be making her return at any moment now. Well, I don't wish to inconvenience you. Don't worry, it would probably save the both of us some trouble. But if you don't mind me asking, what does the mayor look like? Like the typical wealthy person? Big hat with feathers in it? Dripping gemstones from every pore? Uh, Estelle, where have you gotten this image? <laughs> How would I describe her? Should I say she looks splendid, or should I say beautifully mature? If she could just find the right man, then I could retire in peace. <laughs> Uh, never mind. I was just thinking out loud. Ah, yes, this may help. The mayor has a maid accompanying her. That might be the easiest way to find her. Uh, I guess so. To the chapel! I mean, this is definitely the maid. Oh, there you are. You're the maid we've been looking for. Uh, do I know you? A spell that was not very polite. My apologies. We are with the Bracers Guild. We're looking for the mayor so that we can confirm the details of a job she requested. Oh. I see. Please let me introduce myself. I am her maid, Leela. I see to the mayor's daily needs. Hmm. I wonder. So where is the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky from her religious duties. <laughs> I'm sure she's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in the market. She took off after telling me to pray for her, too. I don't know how I should say this, but... The mayor seems like she has 
quite a unique personality. <laughs> There's no doubt she's a capable person, although she does have a bit of an unrestrained aspect to her. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at her residence? I will let her know you're there. I guess. I feel like Estelle's being really pushy right now. And now we can run out of town. What? No. We're not going to do that. Well, uh, yeah, we've already been here, Estelle. Well, she does stand out in a crowd, so I'm sure you'll find her right away. Oh, just as I thought. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves! Trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up! You're not fit to be merchants in Bose! We, we were just thinking about how to increase the sales for the Bose market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you! If it were other products, it would be a different story. But making undue profits on necessities will lead to negative publicity for the market. Return these goods to their original prices at once! Now, I don't doubt your passion for the Bose market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get right down to it, is the established relationship of trust between people. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become wonderful merchants in Bose. Whew! Madame. Lila, so you came, eh? I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job as always. But never mind that, these people are here to see you. Please come back home immediately. Oh, that emblem is... Mm -hmm. That it is. I guess so. She does seem quite young. I mean, look, her portrait name is even Young Woman. My name is Mabel. I'm the owner of this market and the mayor of the Bose region. Oh, wow. I often use this place for business meetings. The food is quite good, too. I'll tell you what, though, I had heard the mayor of Bose was a woman, but I never imagined you would be this young. Four or five years older than Estelle. Estelle's 16, right? So that would make her like 21. Actually, I still feel like I'm nothing more than an unworthy successor to my father. My late father was the previous mayor, and all I did was inherit the rights to the Bose market and the political foundation which he set up. After all, I'm just the daughter of a businessman, so there's no sense in getting a high hat about that. But anyway, would it be alright to go over the details of my request with you again? Well, what I would like to ask that you do is investigate the disappearance of the missing airship and bring closure to the incident. I am of the opinion that bracers would bring about much more desirable results concerning this incident the, excuse me, than the military is currently producing. The reason being, we are not fighting a war. We are trying to find answers and solve a mystery. I mean, your logic seems sound. Uh... 
I don't know. Again, I think her logic seems sound. Uh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was board aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep the Bosa airspace as a no-fly zone, business is going to suffer. And just when business has been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration. I suppose so. Yes, and it's something which I can't trust to be left up to the army alone. So what do you think? Will you accept my request for your help in the matter? Well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incident, and we'd like to accept the job. But... The army has actively been trying to exclude bracers from having anything to do with this incident. So, uh, I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us. Maybe show the army who is running the show? This must have something to do with General Morgan, then. That man has disliked Bracers from the beginning. He was a friend of my late father's. Tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. So, I may just be able to do something for you. Oh, I guess this should be sufficient. Here, please take this with you. It's a letter of request to General Morgan. It is to inform him of my request for information about the incident as the official responsible for the region. I think this should be enough to get some information out of the army. I wonder indeed. We might have to sneak in. Um, <laughs> I would think it would be a pretty safe bet as long as you hide your identities. You would probably be best served by saying your messengers for the mayor. It's not lying, it's just... It is just not saying the full truth. Technically, we are messengers for the mayor. <laughs> Uh, where indeed? Hacking gate on the international border to the north of Bose. Okay. How do I get there? Alright, everyone. I'm counting on you. Indeed. I'll be looking forward to some good news. Goodbye, and have a wonderful day. Alright, let's get going, shall we? The Hagen Gate is at the end of the Essen Road. To the north of the... Okay, that's where I was going to go anyway. So, great. 